busy yeah. doing. <laughs> you guys had a good weekend, I'm assuming. Y'all must ain't here. Where I said? All right, go ahead. We 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 heard you. I just said, are you doing good? Are you doing well this weekend? You had a good weekend. Uh, this is my first day off. Ooh, new Jeez. job, right? New job. Yeah. Well, today, I mean, today we're gonna get into to a topic of women pretty much their body, their choice. And we all have different views about it. I mean, yeah, we kind of agree to a certain extent. I mean, if it's a woman's body, what they decide to do with it is their choice, correct? But is there times when you feel like it's not? And what are the things that they do to their body that kind of influences different decisions? So we get into certain things like women getting BBLs, uh, you know, Lipo, what is it? Liposuction, all different types of shit to Press help. Reduction. Yeah, to help change their bodies. I'm good with all that. You are. Yeah. So I'm you, good with you'll all be. That. So you'll be happy. You'll be happy with your wife. She came home one day and her titties are two size smaller. Yeah, if it's for because if it's for health reasons, if it's for like you know what I'm saying, like if it's for stuff like that, there's I'm just saying there's other things that kind of have to do with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody check Instagram for me, by the way. I had to exit out because it was playing two audios at once. So y'all would talk and then I would hear it on. I would hear you and then I would hear Instagram. It was terrible. So I had to exit out. Just oh okay. Yeah, we're live. We're live. When <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, it's, it's, is it something that if you were single, <clears throat> is this something that you would look for? When you when you see a woman, is that something that you find yourself wanting more of? Like, yeah, so you're looking for a woman, and she got a, a, a yeah a big ass because of the BBL. That's something that you'd keep, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's start. Let's 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 <laughs> let's, 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 yeah, nah, nah, nah. nah, let's bring this shit around. Bro. I'm, I'm gonna bring this shit around. I got you. I got you. So basically, you meet a girl. Mm -hmm. She's fucking. She's ass is pancaked up, and she decides she's going to go out and get a BBL. Oh, I met her, and that was you the met case. her. You met her. Y'all been together for a year or two. You whatever, two or three years. Okay. You you got used to her not having cake that much. You know, she got titties and everything, but you know her ass in the ass department, she's kind of lacking. So okay. she if he met her with a BBL and he would keep her, what would make him defer if she had a pancake and then she no, got I'm a saying, BBL? Listen, I'm saying, listen, I'm bringing it all around. <laughs> exactly. She goes out, <laughs> and then she somebody. goes out, and, and then she goes out. You've been with her for three years. She has a pancake, lacking in the cake. Department. I'm excited. Then she goes and gets a BBL, but the legs don't match the ass. How okay. do you feel about that I shit? I, sh I should have been there on a the consulting call. <laughs> she should have let me come in. She should have let me consult. She should have let me talk to the doctor. Yo, we don't need it as big as this. We don't need it super huge. Let's just make it to where it goes with her body. Listen, you just be quiet, honey. So listen, make sure we would have designed it. I'd have drew it up. They would have sent me the plans. I would have approved the plans. And then I would have sent it back. And then we would have got it going. It's like a project. You don't think it should go like that? It should go like that. The the natural, is funny. I'm just saying, y'all all, we I'm, all see pretty good in our class. Well, y'all see natural fat asses. It's not the jeans. Jeans and tights make a fat ass look fatter. Once it comes out of that jeans, sags a little bit, but you can see the little, you can see the cuff. The <laughs> thighs go, the thighs match up with it. Everything's soft. It's the book of Kev good. is crazy, yo. The book what? of Kev is crazy. That's how you see all asses? That's how I see it. I see fat asses. I dated mugs with fat asses. I've seen it when it comes out that jeans. It doesn't sit round like it does in them jeans. That thing, it, it comes down, it, you know, it loses a little bit of the round in shape because the jeans was giving it the shape, but it loses a little bit of round, but it got that cuff. It got that little stick your hand underneath for them, like, is a cuff. You know, as you can actually, that's why you see a nigga grabbing the ass, you grab the ass like this. Ain't got no ass, you, you Sticking maybe a finger and a thumb in there and get a finger and you squeeze a little butt cheeks together. Nah, you just pat it and just make sure it's you know pat it, and make sure they know you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> no, you know, I mean, what it. happens when um, this woman becomes old? You know, what I'm saying, does the body? We're gonna find still out in about match. a good thirty to forty years. <laughs> We're yeah. all gonna find out. I mean, me yes. personally, I like mine more natural. You know what I mean? Like, to keep. Like, if, if I was looking for a woman that I wanted to be my wife, I'm not looking for a woman who's altered her body all crazy. 
because I'd be scared about what happens in the future. You know what I mean? If it becomes a health risk, if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't look right for her as she gets older, now does she have to get another surgery? You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> those are the things I don't really want to want to go through. I wouldn't want her to go through it. And then also, you know what I mean? Like I would, I want to love you for who you are originally. You know what I mean? If I, if I mean, that's just what it is. Like forever, I'm talking about a forever woman. You know what I mean? Like, like a woman who, if if you have a, if you find would you date an amputee? Would I date an amputee? Yeah. I mean, I don't see why not. It depends on what everything looks above the leg, I guess, or lack thereof. Okay. I was talking about an ass amputee though. They <laughs> just amputee their ass. What would you do? <laughs> then you had listen amputee that. Listen, listen, you had it, but now it's gone. Now, it's what are the reasons why your female. butt would get chopped off? It's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. You ain't visit that. Never mind. Listen, no, I have what not. What happened first for me? If she had to, if if she had to have her ass amputated, or I was already okay? with her. Yeah, and she had a fat one, but now it's not. If I'm with her, I'm with her because of, after a certain point is because of who she is, not just because of her ass. I mean, take a loss, but I mean, that's like saying, oh, you were with your wife. Now she has cancer. She has to you it's know, terrible. go through chemo and now she has to be bald. It's, it's, it's no different for me. I'm still going to be there okay. because that's who I'm with. But he's going to be there. But he goes but to slap her ass like I'm meeting. Kitchen. If I'm meeting oh, a person. Hey, cool with clapping bones. I think I think that anything that's missing on a person could kind of decide what if that's what you really want. You know what I mean? Like, would you date a person who was a paraplegic? Yeah. Yeah. I don't and and I don't I don't know if I could see myself just me personally being with a person who can't you aren't creative enough. Am I? I'm. I'm not. I'm not creative enough. Nope. You will. You bend her shit back, tie the motherfuckers up at the top. You talking about <laughs> just sex? You don't give a fuck oh, about you're not about yeah, you know, on that. Whatever. Life, whatever. Whatever. Dre, you're not thinking about life. Like you get to somebody's house and they don't have a ramp, so now you got to carry her up the steps, sit her on the couch, and go back and get her chair. I carried her through the through the threshold. I could do that too. It depends. Cause guess what? She ain't never gonna get tired. Fuck. Like one of you ever see them old apartment Why complexes she get that don't get tired? She got huh? the roll of wheelchair. No, I'm talking about the pussy don't get tired. Yeah, Drake. See, Drake's you thinking know. about the middle of the night. Drake. He can just fucking <laughs> sneak over and give him some pussy and she never know because you won't even feel it. Yeah. <laughs> well, not on her shoulder, but she probably just be like, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you have no more nose. Just go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. Go back to sleep. Just don't rock the bed too much. Gotcha. <laughs> So that fill that motherfucker the rim. Let my hair go, Dre. <laughs> I'm sleeping. You can feel that. You can do what you want to do, but let you my hair go. Feel. Let my arms go. Give <laughs> her something she can feel. I don't know. I mean, it's it's just. Do you you see yourself? You in a room full of women, and mm. there's the paraplegic woman, and she she might be cute. You mm. know what I mean? That's the woman. Well, yeah, they could be cute. I'm not, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not saying that they're not. I'm talking about in a room. I'm talking about in the one room. Wait, of wait no, let me stop women. you. Wait, so you think that when they get to the hospital and they, <laughs> they can't, and they can't fucking no, not her because she she's not cute. She's yeah. too cute to be paraplegic. Give her her legs, give her her legs back. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, you might feel that way about some women. You never so, <laughs> you see you like no, she got to be able to walk in and out Drake, lives. Like, yeah. <laughs> see, Dre be too awkward to talk to her. He wouldn't know whether to squat to get on her level or stand up in front of her. He'd be trying no, to figure it out. Like, the type of nigga to pull like, up the chair next to yeah. her and sit so she feel comfortable with, with a nigga at her. Right. <laughs> Let me bring a chair like, over here. We, we can I have like, this nice conversation. But what you said is if you're in a room full of women and like, and you know what I mean? Some cute, some not. And the paraplegic, John, she cute. That's who the one. That's who, in your mind, you're going for that woman. You're, you're. That's a very interesting question, and I think that that was important in this in this particular conversation because if it's a room full of people and she's cute, and I mean, I'm probably going to be talking to the other women if it's if it's equal opportunity. But if you're in a position where you maybe you work with the girl and she's cute and you like her and y'all genuinely you know 
create a bond, then it'll continue like anything else. You ain't going to say, well, nah, I ain't going to fuck with her because you're going to at least see where it go. I'm going to call her on the phone. Her hand work. Like, like that shit work. Yo, but that's my point, though, is you're putting yourself in a situation where you're forced to have to know you're that right. person because you're with that person on an everyday basis because mm -hmm. you two both have to be there. It's yeah. not like you're choosing that in a sense. You didn't choose your coworkers. Your job did. So now you're there. You kind of got to know her. So you're like, oh, yeah. But you wouldn't take the time to be that type of person if you met her in the club. Hey, how you doing? But and she got a bad club. friend. And she it's got a crazy. Friend. She can be <laughs> in, the club. in the club. What's she doing? Getting they rolling. Well. What's she doing? Oh, that Manny Fresh play. So she's spinning around in the middle of the fucking <laughs> dance floor <laughs> doing fucking 360s. <laughs> just going crazy. I tell you this. That she can drink as much as she wants. She's airport. not the designated driver. All right. Oh, uh, she got to drive right. that fuck. I'm yeah, just saying. All right. Cool. What? But it comes with perks too, dating her, man. You get the you get the you get the park closer to the store and all that shit. All right, you get to throw that placard up. You know what I'm saying <laughs> going in you get to throw that placard up and shit. You we're not going in. This is real. This, this is real life shit. shit. This is real this life shit. situation. So you go to you shit. go to fucking uh Universal Studios, you get to skip the whole line. Like it's it's perks to this shit. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's just saying, just saying it's fucking willing being with someone to wheel them in the front of the line at you six flags right. is crazy. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying hey. to I'm trying to stick with you. So just I, I personally think yes, if you have a bunch of people in a room and you just meeting them all for the first time, are you going to run directly to that one? Probably not. Not because they're ugly, not because of anything else. It's just like, I don't know how much we have in common. That's why I added the added you know, thing about us getting to know each other because then it's like, oh, well, what it is is what it is. I like you, you like me, let's go, let's go from there. But if it's a room full of, for lack of better words, walking motherfuckers, I'm kind of going to go with the person who I have that in common with. That's just me. It's just me. Unless she bad, unless she bad as hell. Is she bad? Oh, that's what I'm saying though. It's like you're you're not you're not you're not openly putting yourself in that position. You have to be forced to get to know the person. You know, it's not it's not your first choice. It doesn't mean that you wouldn't necessarily do it at all. It's just if you're looking around and you decide, you know, who you want to be with, one of the things that you don't check for is disabilities. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a fucked up thing to say, but it's true for most for the most part. You know, it's it's something that you never really think of, but it's a it's an honest truth. <clears throat> and we were just using, you know, that as as um for instance an example yeah. yeah yeah but to get to get to a more uh relatable aspect when you're looking for something for the right now it's always something physical she got a fat ass she got nice titties her body frame is right so i feel like it is designed women design themselves to attract the man with that but when you start getting into the real features of who they are on the inside you're like damn she ain't really really what i want she's right. just what i want for the right now and that that's what leads me to ask is that something that that you look for 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 everything or is that just something for the for the right now you know what i mean like are it's they the people like that you bring in around the people that you love because you know you there and you want to bring this person or is that somebody you bringing around the homies because you just want the yo you know what i mean you, you just showing off both and you get to know the person. The per Listen, the Kev, I ain't, I'm gonna let you talk. Sorry, but right. if the person has, some, cause I think that's gonna be more prevalent as time goes on for the younger kids. It, it's gonna be, why go to the gym when I could just go get the body that I want? Now that's not to say that these people don't go to the gym after they get the body that they want. Cause you have to keep it up if you're smart. But yeah. the point being is the person is still the person. So, if a person doesn't like the way they look and they want to change it, that doesn't necessarily mean that everything they're doing is in vain. It could be for themselves. It could be for their confidence. That's a big thing with, with women and men. Confidence is, is a motherfucker. Like if you gave me, and I'm going to be a little bit long winded, give me a second. 
if you gave me the option when I felt like I couldn't do this shit, when I felt like I kept failing at some shit, like failing at losing weight, and you say, yo, it's a surgery that you can get that's going to give you a six pack, that's going to give you muscles and, you know, very minimal scarring, minimal uh, stretch marks. I'm probably going to take that. And I'm not a vain guy, but to, for me to look in the mirror and be happy with what I'm looking at, I might fucking take that. And I'm yeah. a normal person. I'm not a fucking, I don't, I'm not an Instagram model. I'm not a fucking gold digger for women. I'm a regular person that just says I've fucking dieted enough. I'm tired of this shit. I got a real job, real life shit to deal with. Yeah. Give me the magic pill, motherfucker. You know? So that's, I'm guessing that's the opposite for women. I guess they just, you know, they just say, Hey, listen, I'm getting tired, tired of nobody looking at my ass and I you ain't heard of it. it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, she went to the gym. She couldn't get it off her. She did the same thing. I'm, that's, I'm just saying that's reverse for the women. So well, I mean, have to keep. Okay, okay let me oh, ask okay. an example. Well, I got what you're saying. Well, I don't think it's. I don't think it's necessarily the reverse for all women, but I think that you're saying let's media. Reverse. That's why I, I I thought you were saying it's the reverse. You're saying let's reverse it. Oh, I thought he yeah, said no. it's the reverse as well. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's let's get to the topic that we got. We got a fucking topic. We get ADHD and fucking get way the fuck out of somewhere. That was probably but, man. That's the thing we do. But I'm saying I'm talking about far as far as women go, getting these uh surgeries done to their body and shit like that. You know, they get the, the stomach tucked, they get the ass uh, enlarged. Enlarge their boobs and everything like that. And it, it looks like I said, it looks good for you. You look at it, you like wow. Or the clothes on, you look at it like wow. But clothes off and aging, man, it will fuck that shit up because you got to think they start getting old. They got them breast implants. Them shits don't sag like normal titties do. Now you got these fucking two fucking grapefruits that are fucking all rocked and hard up with all this saggy skin around it and fucking <laughs> and and then you got this ass is all fucking hardening and shit up and then fucking legs is all drooping it's like shit don't look good you know what i'm saying you got the wendy williams legs with a fucking all right yo you just <laughs> i'm just saying it just shit looks terrible after a while so yes it does sure that's what i'm saying i'm but, saying it look it looks good to have right now but it's like I'm about to fuck you you got to you got to think long term. Like, damn, it's, it's not going to age with. Go ahead, fuck me up. I'm sorry, that shit was funny. I'm about to fuck you up, bro. It happens anyway. I know these women that's getting this shit done to their body now. No, no, I mean when you're just a normal person, it happens anyway. It's rare for a person to be able to keep up. First of all, you're going to sag. So even with men. Have you ever seen an in shape man who wasn't in shape his whole time that like kind of got in shape later in life? There is a sag yeah. to the way they're even if they're even if their chest is built up here, the skin sags. Yeah, but that's that's natural. That's like that's like Hulk Hogan and shit when them guys old right. wrestlers. Right. They just they just you can still they, you see they had a seat, but they, they're older now. That's cool. But I'm talking about these women like that shit they put in their body, that shit doesn't sag. It it may sag, like the teas may sag, but you then you got this hard fucking rock of a grapefruit down there. It's like <laughs> your titties supposed <laughs> to lay flat to your body after a couple years. You shouldn't have this fucking lump. It's just like hey, ah, you're telling me that I've seen that, it too. Yeah. I've and I'm it. just using this as the devil's advocate. <clears throat> you're old. You and your wife are old. You she got the 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 breast enhancement, the ass enhancement. When y'all were at a younger age, you was loving it. She got older, she started getting saggy. But when she got naked, her titties were still perfect. Her ass was still perfect. Out of all that perfect. sag, is well. I mean, you said it's, well. What's rock hard? Rock hard titties. I don't even know what that Me. is. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I am. I think at you, that age, you're not a pre man. I'm just, I'm not appreciating because huh? it's like you, you still about, got, a, not you got a stomach, you got a stomach looking at an old vagina. And now you have a stomach looking at an old vagina and looking at 
See, Kev is a piece of shit, and I'm going to tell you why Kev is a piece of shit. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why right now. Because you would be old as well with your little shriveled balls and your little shriveled dick. She got to look at that. At least she got something to offer you. Yeah, (laughs) Kev. What the Adam Sandler say? Old hairy balls. I'm saying, bro. Like, so Kev. We both stomach and. Bad shit now. Yeah, this one at least she's like giving more you bad stuff. shit. At least she's giving you a little something to appeal oh, it's to. Nothing. It's not nothing. Right? If it, if it, now if it lacked, because I'm giving the impression that you're saying that the job lasted. So her doctor was a genius, and he know he knew what you would have wanted when you was an old guy. You know what I mean? So so he couldn't do nothing about the natural things that she wanted to keep. But but when it was time for your ass to get old, the, the issue wasn't with with the ass of the breast. So you telling me that that is a factor that you wouldn't appreciate? Her ass will look like a fucking soggy depends at that age. It just look like an old like diaper. It'll look like an old. You ever see a kid, a baby walking around with a diaper on too long? Mm-hmm. They they the parents should change it like three hours ago. That's what her ass is legit oh, going to look like. Me, no, oh, you me, might be wearing depends as it is. Let me ask you a question. I, I'm sorry. So she get the fat transfer, right? She yeah. get the fat transfer to get a to get a fatter butt, right now. When she gets older, it sags a little bit. You're mad at that. What if she couldn't lose the fat if she didn't get a fat transfer? Then she just fat with, she's just fat and stretchy and all that shit. Does it really matter? Because she still ages and she still has the sag. Just sag is just in a different place. Yeah. One sag you much, one sag you might rather. <laughs> okay, guess what? You can put some spanks on and, and tighten that shit right up and close it. Would you rather place. be in the front or would you rather be in the back? Correct. That's that's more of the correct question. Oh, I, I like, front or back? Yeah. Huh? You, you got to be honest with yourself. Yeah. Got to be honest with yourself. He thinking. He like. I don't know. Uh, I don't that's even know. I think point. hopefully at seventy is just like I'm just coming to bed to lay down. That's not, not really the not you. That's not true. No. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I would prefer it in the back. A long line I... of horny men. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, man. I just wanted to. I just yes. wanted to age the right way. I just don't want you to fucking, <laughs> you know, like just age naturally. Like let no. your body. No. I don't bro. think that will look right. I've seen you ever seen like you seen Dolly Parton like when she was doing the halftime. Nah, she was oh, just. Funny. No, she's fine oh, no, she because she's 70. Yeah, with them fake ass, hard ass titties. It's just like Jerry Jones is probably horny, but every other nigga in the stadium was like, oh. Kev, you, Kev, you would hit it. Probably. And I'm going to tell you why. Make make Kev single. Make Kev be around the Cowboys for some reason. Or not the Cowboys, around Dolly Parton for some reason. You single, she got money, and she fuck with you. And she got a fucking Dolly Parton in there had a six pack. You ain't fucking Dolly Parton, bro. Oh, and try Kevin. to wife her. That's like fucking Jerry Kevin, Jones. That bitch Kevin's is going for another baby in her. Just so way, somehow. Baby in what? Them you old powdered ass eggs. Them eggs done. Her yep. Yep. eggs done. Her reproductive system. Eggs is done, man. You gonna bring it back to life? You know, right. Dolly Parton has a like. Don't she got her own theme park or some shit? Like she got like um, she got some shit, bro. Like Dolly Parton got money, and I think you would. You could say you wouldn't, but I think if you had a chance, you would. You would at least try. You fuck fucked worse. Yeah, I fucked worse, but I I got a limit. Right. Though. Carol, you got Caroline. Caroline. Yes. Remember, Kev was was charging <laughs> million millions of dollars for his penis on the last episode with uh, ugly celebrities. So this Just, guy, this oh what she's God, saying. Dolly Parton, man. She, wait, discuss oh what she's saying. God. She's saying she's saying that. Damn, you had one up there. Um, something about you not being able to get hard at that point anyway, which I agree with. And I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get hard. Oh, no, she said she said that people get regular, and that's why I was trying to explain earlier before we got on. Yo, you know, people get regular size shit too. Like, you yeah. know, everybody ain't the people that you when you think about the people, you know, everybody not them. Some yeah. people just get like, Hey, I want my body to be shaped better. Don't give me the extra large, don't give me the fucking um it's, it's don't give cool. me the uh suburban. What's that shit called? The extra long suburban. Don't give me Yo, that. It's, give me the Tahoe. It's, it's cool because I seen I seen some women like I watched some Instagram videos, but letting them always sending you sending me shit like that. Yeah, it's, it's like, like yo, that ass is just is just fucking 
I'm like, come on, man. Nobody wants to ask that big. Like you, you're walking in a room, you're swinging your ass left to right. It's like it's 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 too much. Like you got too much. It's not gonna look right. I ain't got nothing. In ten more years. Sorry. You don't. I don't got no. You don't. Like, and that's the thing. If your wife gets a big ass implant, now I gotta go find somebody to get me a penis enlarger. Like, they come. Oh, you ain't well, got enough. So you ain't got enough dick for all. Life. I'm just saying. They always come. You don't got enough dick for this ass right here. No. But before your ass implant, I had more than enough dick for that ass. That's let me make that clear. I was bottoming out in that motherfucking ass because you ain't have one. Now you done added an extra 14 inches on your ass. Now I got to go get add, add an extra 14 inches in my penis. So that's just to get problem. past all the ass. That's the thing. So that's your issue. Your issue is you're you afraid that you're gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna level up to a Man. point where you can to a point where you ain't getting <laughs> the biggest I, that you can get. I can't hit it from the back no more. It's like you, you, you went that far. You, you, you took it, it from the front. You took it. No, man, because it's like that's that was my thing. Have a ride, you. Like I had fat asses in this cool. You got enough dick for it, no. But when you go out the realm of your ass, it just it's like no, nah, no. Nah, can you being selfish because you can't hit it from the back no more now? Nah, I don't. You know, I did no not know. She go get an ass implant. You need the Kama Sutra book so you can get it. Kama Sutra, she go get a fucking Tahoe done now. I got to go fucking go get go get a fucking half an arm put on me. Like, come on. Now my shit got to slap all the way at my fucking knees just so I can get normal sex. And hopefully I feel the shit. That's wild because you because when you was in the hunt for women back in the day, you was looking for the fattest ass you could find. I got it. Make the ass for you. Now it's a problem. No, I have fat asses, but it's like it's a normal fat ass. I, some of these chicks' asses is like their yeah, body's but Dre here, is telling you and then they that got they, they all the women are like that. He I know. I'm so. <laughs> no, I say you don't listen. Yeah, I say you know some people get regular, regular stuff just because they yeah, want but, to look better. It's not right, yeah, like how that. It's not all Kim K. It's some people get regular shit because they yeah, that's wanted to fill out maybe. That's and that's cool. That's that that is a perfect thing. You, you know what I'm saying? That's a perfect thing. But the ones who take it to the extreme, I yep. really think they take it to the extreme just for Instagram, just to make videos, just okay. to have some nigga with a camera behind them like this the whole time. Just walk. Do so, nothing but walk in this fucking home depot. So like me, you're a normal person. Let, let's 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 take this to a more more serious um avenue. Nah, let's keep let's keep no it no no. Up. We we'll keep we will keep the bullshit. We will keep definitely the bullshit. But what I'm about to say. It's you're going to understand what I'm coming from. So, having a body for a female at this point in time is a job now. So, here's what I mean. Okay, listen. The one thing about online, like how the internet is now, is that people can make money off of their looks. Getting a fat ass, like you said, how do you do it for you know Instagram and people to be behind them? That is a actual full-fledged career. They do OnlyFans. They do, like, they make money off of it. Do you think that that is an issue if she did all that to do that? Fuck her getting old. If she did all that to do that, what's the issue? I call it an investment. It is an investment because, you know what, that place was used to be called the strip club. And in strip clubs once... Thanks, COVID. Yeah, COVID fucking... COVID really ramped up the Instagram model shit. It ramped it up. When they closed the strip club down and only fans and yep and, and people started watching Instagram. Now it's like, yo, it's the death to death to strip clubs. Like, you know, is I don't even I wouldn't even know what a strip club look like you- right now. It's probably a bunch of old women that just still work in there that just have to still work there because they can't figure out the internet. Yo, can I ask you a question? Because you what you just said made me think of something. Would you go to an all deaf strip club? <laughs> a deaf strip club. Would you go to an all deaf strip club? No music playing. Just girls. Just <laughs> girls. I feel that's the first thing in my head. Like, how do they dance? Girls, girls with no rhythm, just <laughs> sliding down the pole, bumping their fucking head on the ground. <laughs> nah, yo, yo man. Would you go no, there? Yeah. Would you go there just to see what it's like? Chill. I would go that's... to see what it's like. She oh, signed no, it to you, baby. Give me, <laughs> give me more. <laughs> No, that should just sound hard. That should be terrible. Hey, yo, you sound like you ever, faster, baby. <laughs> it sound like you ever be in a court where it's like you're the only person in the court. Somebody's playing basketball, and you just hear like, 
like you just hear the poles squeaking. It would just feel <laughs> you, you just hear them stiff fire. their body squeaking down the pole and that's fire. Yeah. I, I don't you even know. That. I'm, with that. I'm <laughs> actually fucking with that. Kev said it would sound like the Nike commercial. Yep. When they were yep. <laughs> a quiet strip club is amazing. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. Man. No, but you, listen, 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 listen. My wife in another room. When it comes to certain type of uh, material to look at, sometimes you'd be surprised would do it. We don't listen. always need. We don't. We don't always need all the shit that you think we need. Man, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. It'd be we some don't. shit that I'd be surprised. I like. I'm like, oh, I like this. All right, well. <laughs> I'm just saying, some women, oh, yo, some, 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 some people be interested. Like they, they, they got a cute face, they got a nice body, but they ass is flat. And you be like, you know what? I can work with that. <laughs> it should be. You be looking. You be like, wait a minute. <laughs> A, kar- a karate instructor, female karate instructor. <laughs> this might be <laughs> this bad bitch is gardening tomatoes. He's got a mohawk. <laughs> uh, I, I remember, like this girl with a mohawk. I remember one time uh, a family member of mine seen it like seen a bodybuilder chick and he was ready to tear that thing up. I'm like, he all on her. I'm like, hey, that's a it's kind of strong. Yeah, you know? I mean, hey, what, you listen, know you like there's female like wrestlers that are bad. Oh yeah, I've seen a couple. They're strong. strong. It's strong you looking. Like, there's a yeah, couple like, of them all along with that. Like, and you know what I'm saying? What's the yo on this? What's the strangest thing you've seen and you said? I would. I think I seen the. I think I seen the chick with like. I, like I, I think I seen an amputee with her ass was like crazy. It's like, damn, yeah, mm-hmm. fuck the shit out of this one legged motherfucker. Like I mm-hmm. didn't even care. Just like damn, her ass is fat. Like going up in the back <laughs> with his leg up. Nah, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 that bitch is like a uh, like a three legged table. You just gotta keep her stable enough <laughs> so she don't fall over. All right. <laughs> Oh, you gotta prop her up. You gotta, gotta prop, prop her up. He putting he putting put uh yellow pages in place it. Pillows and blankets. Cut it out. Get the job done. Lean yeah. her ass up. Lean her ass up against the head. Bring the some shit like that. Yeah. Lean her up against the head. Incredible board. upper body strength. Hey yo, first off, you know this nigga Kev always. I said she doing, missing one leg. Kev always got some type of uh fucking shit to do at his crib. He always fixes shit up, so. It'll, He'll build a stint. <laughs> He'll, build, <laughs> He'll build a stint. Build a stool. Yeah, so tweet, baby. Build a nub yeah, right on. Put it right under right your kids or something. Yeah. Yeah, there there's, there's a pretty famous one. Um, she has both. She's a she double amputee. Like she's not famous. She's Instagram famous because she she also works out. But What's yeah, she works, out? she works out what. She works out her upper body. Clearly, oh, I mean her upper fucking body jacket. <laughs> but well, if I'm getting to do the a debate, pull up, doing pull ups and shit. <laughs> hey, the debate has been made underneath her comments. The debate is made, and it's like because you look at her, it's like like a one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cool. I mean, what you doing there? You gonna figure it a way out, right? Spin her around on that motherfucker. It doesn't matter. Like you going yeah. to find a way to do what you got to do. What's the nigga from Family Guy with the wooden legs? <laughs> oh, the, 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 yeah, that's how she come walking. Yeah, with everything. That's how she come walking in the. That's how she come walking in the room all you and shit. He was like, yeah, turn his ass up. I'm pretty sure you're not turning that away. I'm not. And then I'm the not. fuck that thing said she come walking in the room. What? I wasn't going to turn around the one leg. Kev built the Jones what? for her. Kev built the Jones for her. I wasn't going to turn away the one leg of one if I had. I, you know, I wasn't. I'm like, man, this is, you just yeah. got to think. The positions you can, you layer on one side that you ain't got that leg you got to worry about holding up. You can just, you know, just get it on the side and just, just You're get right. to it. You just, and then you go, yeah. I, I yeah. So, yeah, when I was talking about sex earlier, y'all niggas called me dirty, but that's really what comes to mind. It, it comes to mind all the things that you can do, but that's a thing. Hey, I'm sorry. Listen. <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Put the dub on the shoulder and go crazy. It's, it's a lot of stuff you could do. I think we 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 not giving these people credit, um, the people in the handicapped community, because, you know, they're people and 
they probably got a whole bunch of tricks that you would never get to experience in any other route. But See, that, yeah, would, you would you date would, would you date street. a chick? Would you date a chick with no arms, knowing she can't jack you off and why she give you head? Um, she would have to be very like creative with the other things that she can do. She gave you a feet massage and put the feet together for you. Well, baby all on the feet. You're you're laughing, but usually the ones with no arms do everything with their feet, like their arms. So yes. Yeah. yeah. You act like you never had a foot job. <laughs> I'm saying you, I had do a job. you a nigga that request foot jobs. <laughs> no, I'm not, dog. I ain't <laughs> never, I ain't never like, do no freak weird shit like that. That's the shit you would do. On. You the type, oh, now it's me. Because I said it's you, now it's me. No, so you I never did nigga, no shit like that. You the type of nigga that if you no. speed dating and they give you one of them cards, <laughs> they, say, they say, what would you like? What is your sexual fantasy? You gonna say a foot job. Am I wrong? Nah. I'm a titty. I'm a titties guy. I like titty fucking. I don't. You still titty never... fucking bitches at forty? Yeah. Why not? Why? Because you can. Because you can. It's like you know. You got to revert back to some old shit. Got to re. What she be doing? while you be doing that? I'm, I'm just saying, dude. I'm, I got to be like. <laughs> just shit. be like. Are you done? No. You fucking done. This ain't for me. <laughs> Yeah, you can't tease together, go to the stomach, you play with a click with the hand behind you. You gotta get crazy, yeah, man. You yeah, two tricks. You <laughs> 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 gotta get crazy, my nigga. Just can't, be, you just can't be titty fucking like you did when you was a teenager. You gotta get creative with the shit. Like, you know, I never even thought about it from doing it from this angle. Do you use, do you use any lubricant? Because when I used to do it, I kind of didn't do lubricant. Because I've done it, of course, but not. Literally, probably 15 years ago. We do some, like, you can't find, it's like, you don't have lubricant around no more, because, like, I got kids, so it's like, you know, you got some baby lotion over there, some shit like that. It's like... Uh, you spit on her? Nah, <laughs> I'm not spitting on her titties, no. <laughs> Man, they're not going that disrespectful far, my nigga. <laughs> that's, see, Dre just be like, you know hey, Hold what? your head up. Hold your head back real quick. <laughs> treat, you, treat you like I paid $5 for you real quick. <laughs> Hey yo, uh, hey, like yo. I five dollars for you. Let me spit on your chest. No, oh. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No, but That's it's just it's just interesting to think about. It is interesting to think about. Now, now, like, like, all right. Here go another thing, man. <laughs> like the flat, like women with like small titties, like is y'all. That's still cool. Like, that's not my thing. Nah, me personally, it's not my thing. No. I date him up. I, I think I messed with a motherfucker one time. Like How'd you titty fucker? I ain't titty fucker. That motherfucker raised her arm. Them titties disappeared. And them shits with nipples. <laughs> like, you just keep your, keep your, <laughs> keep your arms <laughs> down. You can fold her in half. You can fold her in half. <laughs> keep your arms down so I can still have some titties to look at. You don't raise your arms above your head. I want some titties to look and at. That, you know what I'm and that's where the foot job comes in. <laughs> that's, where, <laughs> bing, nigga, that's where the foot job comes in. You think you was slick, like, nigga? That motherfucker went like this and just went straight nipple. Like he got the little cuff and raised arm and shit went to a straight nipple. Just he's a plank. Nah, man, put your arms. Yeah, I've never been in there. <laughs> Give me big titties, bro. I'm sorry. I like, hey, do y'all prefer big titties or big ass? If you can't have both. If you can't. Yeah, have both. Because you can't never have both. So that's what the thing I she had to ask, but she just didn't have the titties. I and it was cool. Titties. I was cool with it. What would you prefer? Big titties. Big titties, me. Definitely. Uh, yeah, big titties. You could play with them. I mean, I could, you could still eat an ass. You know what? Ass, ass. You know who I think has a fucked Lesser, up time, yeah. man. Nah, you know who think I think has a fucked up time, man. The Asian dudes, man. I feel sorry for them sometimes. Cause some of they women, you gotta look at them, bitches. They both, they all. Look How the did same. we get here? I'm just saying, they just, they just board it all the way up. Titties, no titties, no ass, no nothing. It's just what you like, do with them, though? Because I, yeah, what you do with them? I only had one of them types in my life, like, like just. Regular flat everywhere, not flat, but just skinny. What do you do with them now? Hey, I'm serious. I'm asking both of you guys. What do you do in that position? What are y'all doing? I you just don't. I, I don't know. I just I'm not messing with them. I'm no. It's like a fucking. You look, you built like a 14 year old fucking 14 year old going through fucking puberty. You're fucking 36. There's nothing going to change about you. It's, it's a wild I comparison. Can't, I can't. No, I'm just saying. Oh, why would the day look that for? That's, Come on. I'm just saying, what would be your go-to move? Go to fuck home. 
<laughs> That's my go to fucking move. Go to fuck home. I'm not, I'm not doing it. She starts taking her clothes off. That shit gets real. She got to have a nice. I think she would have to have like a fat vagina dude for you to be like, you know what? All right, I could do something. Kev is going to do it. Don't let him. I know. I know. I'm know. going to do it, but it's oh, not going to be just a in horn. His heyday, in his heyday, it, oh, all right, she going to give it to me. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, you just like, when she start <laughs> taking her clothes off, you just looking like, and her titties. Oh my gosh, where's her ass at? Like, she got a crack back there. What the you fuck? gonna be like, mm, let me see what this is like then. Uh, nah, some of my like, though, I ain't gonna lie. You do like some of that shit? Some of my like. Well, yeah. Do they got have like a little lump? Like, like yeah. Um, yeah, some, uh, some type of curvature. If it's not a cur- if it's not curvature, then it's like all right, but some type of curvature, some, and yeah. I just be thinking, I'll be looking at Asian dudes all the time. I'll be like, man, it's right back to that, right? Yeah, it's See what right you back said. Back so what I tried to do, but okay. I don't care. I'm not being <laughs> racist here. I'm black. All right. I'm just hey man, they look at me funny when I walk in their store, so at least I can fucking return the favor to them. Wow. Hey, yeah. Um so listen, hey yeah, off, off of that. You see the ones that are built like 14-year-old boys, as you put it. What's wrong with them getting a BBL? And are you mad that they get a BBL? Let's say no. you had a Chinese or or I'm trying to get away from oh you. Oh my god. Let me get away from your shit. Let's say you had a skinny girl and she's like, Man, I hate being skinny. I go to the gym, I can't put on any weight. I think I want to get a BBL and some titties. You're gonna tell her, nah, I like you just the way you are. Go ahead and do it. Now, if you built, now that shit makes your titties look, you just lumped up. You like the stick figure with lumps. It's just, that's on you. Like, you got to get it to match some way. You got, you can't go gonna crazy. Because I'm assuming that, that this is somebody that you with. That, is that why you put him in that scenario, Dre? Or is it just a, some random John? Or somebody you with. Yeah. So are you going to, are you going to stay with her if it doesn't look right? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. If, oh man, if yeah, it doesn't look, does. I, you, are you gonna stay with her? It's like I would ask the question, why? Like I was comfortable with your little skinny ass. I'm comfortable now. Now, now she thinks why? she already knows that you don't like how she look anymore. Yep, I can't titty fuck you. <laughs> and 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 guess what? She heard this, and now she it's, knows how you feel. I, and now okay. she's like, I gotta get some titties and fast. Yeah, it's cool. I just rub. I just rub. The titties. I don't need to get titties. I just titty fuck. I just rub my head and my dick across her nipples or some shit like that. Like this, okay, babe. Oh my god, it's okay. what the fuck is going on here? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, you gotta do it. You gotta how you titty fuck. You gotta ask. You gotta ass crack fucker like you gotta just you just gotta get creative I think if you in them positions and you don't you know what I mean you don't want her to get anything done personally if she's skinny like that and she wants to do it it's her body her choice I'm yeah. like well yeah girl get that shit but see the thing like if you date somebody small and skinny like that you can still have fun I'm a big dude so I can carry her around the room and be hitting it like you can still do that you know what I what asked mean? you what you would do and you said leave now you now you now you got all the ideas right <laughs> Dog, I say the, the the ones that's built like the little fucking boy. It was like, like I'm taking a risk of here watching you get naked. <laughs> I didn't even kiss you or even want to start kissing you. I, like I don't know. Like it just. <sighs> You're gonna get us. I, I had dated small. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dated skinny girls before, like skinny girls, but they had like a they had something. You know what I'm saying. But they were still scared, yeah. so I had fun. Yeah, they could school in the morning. Yeah, you fucked up. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> on fire. This nigga, yeah. I'm just saying, on fire. Drake acting like you never Drake acting like he never did de- de- uh de- uh mess with a woman with a fucked up body shape. I remember you fucking with somebody who just had these fucking like these big huge fucking shoulders. It's like what the fuck what was the that? fuck was that? <laughs> the one I married? Nah, no, no, no. It's a little uh you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah shoulders. She, she got a fucked her? up she got a fucked up tooth now. Her tooth is fucked up. That's oh, good shit. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was more of just uh you know, just a... Uh, that nigga was messing wasn't, with a wasn't treasure a, troll. Come on, y'all. That was a treasure troll. Hey, <laughs> well, guess what? I rubbed the belly. 
<laughs> from the fuck. It didn't matter to me. See, but that's the thing. We talk about being with. We're not talking about just doing because I it, you could probably go through some some ones that you just oh this nigga Kev got one he did that was bad. I like how you threw it to Kev. Go ahead, Kev. What you do? <laughs> yeah, what you do? This nigga put the PlayStation controller on her back. Quite as <laughs> this why from the back. Just in there, play PlayStation. Why? Oh, yeah. okay. It must be the yeah around the way, girl. I got you. Oh yeah, everybody was hitting that shit. They yeah. was all the. They, you remember we was making jokes about it, Drake. Just niggas was just running down, or it's like, yeah. that's crazy when you think about it. Like, why? Ken, why did you hit it? You was like, it was like fucking an old, right. old fucking floor mount TV. Can't transmit. Floor mount TV. Yeah, I can't <laughs> the floor mount TV. You talking about the fucking floor model TV? Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Yo, fucking the floor model TV is hey. insane. I've seen he it. He was. Back Tell me day, she wasn't built like back that. Back in the day, we all had some some uncredible losses. I just gave mine. She took. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's what it is. Then. Kev, right. hey, meanwhile, Kev act like he ain't never, I, I he ain't never that. been in the forest. I ain't never hit that. <laughs> I ain't hit that. You got lost in the forest. <laughs> You're still they, they look. You got lost in the forest before, dog. It took us a while to find you. Yeah. <laughs> we had to do a human fucking. <laughs> we, had to do a, we had to link arms and fucking go across. <laughs> Walk with torches. Yeah, I mess with a couple bush monsters. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> All right. But I'm saying, man. Oh, I'm just saying, man. Let's... Nah, like man. some people was uh, like that. That floor model kid was fucking like <laughs> ain't enough surgery in the world to fix that shit. I I, I actually beg to differ. But is she look like precious? I don't remember. <laughs> precious, <laughs> precious. I don't remember how she looked. I just seen um I, I seen a lot of motherfuckers do some real interesting things with makeup and clothes now and no man that nigga know, had a gap like her. this she had a gap like this big I remember my man said he got suck he's she sucking him off and it's like his foreskin got caught in her gap he was in there howling like and this is a true story if niggas told me this shit I was just in tears like why would you tell me this story you know I'm not gonna take nothing serious you say now. Just because you got your head of your shit stuck in her gap. Like, she had a mean gap. That motherfucker was big. That was she had I big, mean. their titties with titties were just, her titties was like the size of a four year old. That's her pure alley. No, no. That's it's, where you, I think that's it's where a little. Come in. No, that's, that's, that's too big. T- them titties was like, it was like, man, it's like, you got a. You can hold a titty like this in a headlock and and and, 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 and wrestle. Like I don't know how niggas was doing it. These niggas, I remember what she looked like. Motherfucker, I respect myself punk. too much. Motherfucker had the little ass ponytail. She, I was like, y'all niggas is really about to go line up and, and knock this down just because um, it's available. Uh, there's there's sex for necessity, and then there's sex for fun. I think, yeah. and then sex for love or sex for whatever, but. Sex from necessity will make you do, will make anybody do some shit that they do not want to revisit. Yeah. yeah. You, you, we've all been in a place where we had sex out of necessity. Oh, man. Yeah. I had sex three times out of necessity. Name one. I think I think this chick, I did not want to hit this chick ever. Always in my face. I didn't never want to hit it. It wasn't, you know, motherfucker came my room, went, just sat in my room one day. Was in my room because you know what I mean my brother girlfriend was there and she just was hanging out with her and I go in my room after getting out of the shower she in the room it's like well here I am I'm naked you're in my room I'm just gonna close this door it's just gonna go down like, okay you sat on my bed and I'm naked so it's like it, it, it had to happen were no I in, never <laughs> I was gonna say were you in a specific situation where you like man I ain't had none in a while or it was that, just, that was it was I was just sure. It was just, I think it, it was like, it had been like a week. That's long enough. I didn't have a girl at the time. So it was like, you know. Oh, you had to eat what you killed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that is necessity. It is. Yeah. You have to so eat she, what you kill. You just happen to be there. It's been a couple of days and it, hey, yeah. it's going to go check. down. Let me get while the getting's good. That's really what that is. Get while the getting's good. Yeah. yeah then you start getting through that dry spell. 
Okay. Anything that come along. Yep. It's hunting That's season. Why. Nobody's yo, nobody thinks about that. So yeah. let me ask y'all a question. And I know we got off track. Does that count for women too? Because if you think about it, should you get mad at them if they got a high body count, if they just went through a bunch of droughts and they said, man, I got to get while the getting's good. I don't, I don't think women, women have, have the same problem as men because they don't need dick. It's not that they don't need dick. I don't think that they have. I think that they can choose if they want to have a dry spell or not for the most part, because there is no way that a woman can't go up to a man whenever she feels like it and be like, yo, I'm trying to fuck. And she's not going to find somebody that's ready to fuck right then and there. Out of 10 of her male friends, nine of them is trying to hit it. Yeah. Just like, I mean, as an adult, think about it. You, women can have male friends. if they can. So nine of them is trying to hit it. So she going to get lucky. In the first <clears throat> first few attempts, you know what I mean. It's not that I don't think it's the same issue when it comes to men. That dry spell can be real, you know what I mean. Like you could be attempting, shit just don't work out. You know what I mean. You end oh, up being played or something. You know what I mean. It's just it's just fucking up all the way around. And then that one thing come by, you be like, <sighs> eh. yeah. <It> makes, <laughs> you know what I mean. Sometimes it makes you yeah. go on that phone book. It makes you go into that that list, and you like you get the back the back of the book. <laughs> you like I don't want to call Her. this person, it's, but this is be around. guaranteed. This is guaranteed. This shit is going on long enough. It, and the thing about it is, it doesn't even. She this is a topic with to, herself, by the way. She doesn't even have to be like ugly. Like she, like she doesn't have to be perfect. But she's Annoying. not. She's not. Yeah, she could just be the one that make you be like, "Yo, my God, my nigga, what the fuck?" Yeah, she could be way too clingy for you at the time. She could just yeah. have some shit where you just like, I don't want to deal with the aftermath of what happens. But. Yes. Uh, way of my options here and I'm, yep. dry spill is kind of difficult so yeah I'm going to just deal with it for a this little bitch, bit this bitch going to want to spend a night this bitch going to want to get <laughs> breakfast like yeah. you know, oh. gonna, she, what, she think what, we go what out you mean? why y'all treat y'all guarantees mean you don't got to treat them mean you got to make them feel no, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't about that <laughs> Kev, you, be, you be dating yeah. them yeah, right? <laughs> you be I like right, fuck I don't it, date them girl now. <laughs> no, I don't make it my girl I just like I treat them nice so they don't you know so they always keep me available. So when I have I'll run into these dry spells, it's not that not, you, it's, I got a boyfriend now. But it's not that, that it's not that you treat them mean. It's just that there's certain shit that you don't want to have to tolerate because you're, you know, what I mean, you're becoming intimate at the time. Like when you're single, you've got the women where you'd be like, damn. I mean, all the shit that I got to deal with after, I don't be feeling like going through that bullshit. But you still, but when you tolerate it, you just. You deal with it, you know what I mean? You just don't want to. So that's why they the ones you'd be like, man, I don't really want to call her, but you know what I mean? I'm going to call her and just deal with the shit. You know what I mean? There's certain shit that you might not like about her. There's things that she might do that might irk you, the, mm -hmm. the pits of your soul, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and you'd be you ready to kick her. her place. Because Cause it was easy. Initial, yeah, the initial. Because it was easy. Because you didn't know her. I didn't say she had to be ugly. You could have been put in a situation and y'all linked up however y'all linked up and you got her in the book. You know, nigga, you had the rotation. You remind us damn near every episode. So <laughs> you should know. The reason know. that you put them in a rotation is because eh, I, I, don't, like I would only deal with you on this day. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you're this person. Oh, you last in a rotation because if all else fails. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You call that one. That's what. That's why they are. If all else fails, if I let the, I let the all else fail, hang around for like two or three days. It's cool. Oh yeah. man, see you a really, hey, bro, really what? Nice guy. Yeah, just let him hang around for two or three days, and then I gotta call him for like another month. You know, make him feel special. Make him still feel wanted. Like you gotta how keep. Did you, how did you never get your tires flat? Is what I want to know. <laughs> because I'm <laughs> nice. I'm not an like asshole that. like you guys. I'm actually no, nice. I wasn't. Oh, Kev, you are lying to the audience and yourself. Yo, I'm real. not lying to you. I just let him down with ease. It's not like I owe me. I don't. Oh, nigga, you know and that is a lie too. <laughs> just won't call him for a couple. I'll disappear for a oh, couple man, of months. You're like Col Christopher Columbus when it comes. To <laughs> you just take it over and then dip next spot. <laughs> They're what gone. You when you call, what you tell them when you call them at the month? What you tell them when they say where you've been at? What you tell them? What you used to tell them? 
Hey, big head. Hit them with they say. No, nah, nigga, this was no. Nah, this was years ago, bro. I'm trying to be. Yeah. What was you telling them when you would not call them for a month and then you would call them? What was you where, when they say where was you at? Where'd you been at? I was looking for you. What you tell them? Man, I messed with some dumbass broad man. I shouldn't even fuck with her. Should have been fucking with you instead. Oh, I don't you, know why. That's fine. I don't know why. I don't know why I even mess with her for. Like you always been there for me. You always hold me down. Like. No. How many times did you use that on the same rotation, oh, Joe? Yeah, you use it a lot. You get away with that shit a lot. Yeah, you, you even get away with it. She got a boyfriend. Like, how's he treating you? Word. Man, some bullshit. <laughs> I, I really do miss you, though, man. You know, that'd be good yeah, to see. Yeah. We should, we should yeah. get up. We should, yeah. we should hook up and come meet each other. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Um, oh, you know, you know, it's probably we went to go get some meat. Let's go get some meat real quick. It's just, oh, you, you know, just, feed him? Yeah, let's just talk. Bro, see, that's how you special. get your tires flat. You, you you ain't seen it for a moment. You trying to get it to come straight to the crib. I mean, I was you really, the, the reason you ain't getting your tires flat, flat Kev, is because you you fucking these old women, these uh ex women who got a man already, so she can't get upset that you ain't call her back because she's gonna get herself in trouble. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't Correct. You just Look, think, yeah, you had a strategy. Yeah, all your strategy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that Dre ended up getting his tires flat because he was a very, very nice person. And then that one time he wasn't nice and it all ended. <laughs> oh, no, I was nice. Never do. I was nice that not, time. Not in her eyes. Yeah, I <laughs> he was a piece one. of shit that one time. <laughs> right. I, I had a chick threatening to bust all my windows out and I didn't even get the pussy. I just cut her off because she was, she was just taking too long and she was just too extra with the shit. It's like, I ain't got time for this shit. She was taking she's, too long to bust the windows at your car, or like give she's taking too long to hand to give some pussy over, and I wasn't really taking. She should have known I really wasn't taking her that serious. <laughs> I ain't fuck with you she no was more. Taking man. too long to hand the pussy. Oh, I hit, it, I hit him with that shit. I, I told her exactly <laughs> that shit, right, man. It's crazy. Like, yo, man, I got hand it over, buddy. <laughs> yo, I got, yo, I got knees, man. I can't be fucking with you. It doesn't I, belong I, to you anymore. I feel like that story <laughs> is reversed. I feel like you might have took too long to hand the dick over, and you, and then when she told you she was done with you, you threatened to bust the windows. Out of her I don't threaten to bust. I ain't busting no windows out of nobody's car. I don't like nigga. I, I don't like jail, nigga. I ain't going to jail over something I ain't even hitting. I don't even, the fuck? You talking to the wrong person? I move on. Just I'm listening. I'm just glad I'm out of that phase, and I don't even got to go through that shit no more. I'm so happy. Next episode, I have- glad I'm not single. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm not single. Yeah, yeah, we out of here, man. It's been we've been over for a fucking hour. Let's go. I'm fucking still oh. hungover. Okay. I'm hungover. Like I am. I survived this episode. Had tons of energy, even though deep down <laughs> inside my soul is fucking crying. It's <laughs> your fault, buddy. <laughs> Sounds like you need a therapist. Yeah, like <laughs> my soul is crying. Go oh, ahead, man. Just- end the episode. I'm ended it. That's how I ended it, motherfucker. It's, it's over. We have fun. We always, we never stay on topic. Nah. I don't even, that's why I have such a hard time describing these episodes. It's like, yeah, we talked about BBLs, but then we talked about fucking skinny girls and rotations. I think we should just Amput- fucking just amputees. I, amputees. I think we should just come here and just release alive? whatever we, yeah, just. Just release what? whatever we got on our mind, like we always do. We shouldn't even I'll, name episodes. I'm going to um I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to uh what do you call it? Uh what? I'm going to refer to you on the next one to cue the like cue what we're going to like just go crazy and I'm just go off of whatever you say. Yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah, I just like to throw I like to throw y'all off to see what y'all gonna say. I got this trick where I'll just ask y'all a question. And y'all won't ask me, so I just get y'all to say crazy shit, and I ain't got to say nothing, and we can just go past it. I just should have told you. One of these days, we're going to get you on your shit, and we're just going to see a pan like, come into the screen and just exactly. knock you upside your shit. Like, God. Exactly. So, yeah. Get, get cleaned on the lot. That's all right. I'm, <laughs> that's all right. I can duck, nigga. I can see that shit coming to the camera. Fuck that. I would not stop the episode. You try to stop it. I was like, no, nah, we're going to hear this beat down, go down the place. See this camera get fucked up. This microphone go all over the place. <laughs> we, need, we need evidence so Drake could be free. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll free me from my abuser. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah. Amber Heard in there taking a yeah. shit on the bed. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>